Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 105 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. Last couple episodes, we've been having fun. We, we've pretty much completed everything there is to do in this pack. It is, it is officially done. Uh, so for the last few episodes, I decided to have just a little bit of fun playing around. And so as you can see, we have an unlimited amount of creative drawer upgrades, which means we can upgrade drawers to be creative. We have an unlimited amount of uh, power, fluids, and gases. Uh, and I even threw some 64K drives in there and a few other things. Uh, because long story short, I was having fun. That's all there is to it. Um, so... Today, uh, I decided uh, at the end of last episode, uh, a fun way to wrap up this series would be to visit some of those uh, Easter egg planets that the mod pack author uh, added to the, the, the uh, advanced rocketry mod. So in the current solar system, it is our solar system, right? Venus, Earth, Mars, Mercury, Uranus, right? Uh, we can even go to some other places like Ceres. We've got Jupiter. We've got Mercury. Uh, we've got Saturn, right? All those uh, cool planets that are fun to visit but there's another solar system out there alpha centauri nice and if we pop into there uh there are some nifty planets that might be uh worth visiting so ooh, krypton now we're talking um i don't know if he added like cool stuff to these planets or 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 made them i know um like these planets all have an abundance of all the different types of ores um that that you were only able to find on planets, but I don't know if you added anything else that's cool. So maybe just for fun, we'll uh, tour some of these planets today and see uh, what it's all about. So uh, where should we visit first? Tatooine? I don't know what this is. LV-426. I'm sure these are all like, you know, references to certain, like, I know Gallifrey. I know Melmac. Antar doesn't sound familiar. Bogsphere, I know. Uh, Caprica sounds familiar. Rigel, I know. Krypton. Cybertron. Oh, there's two planets here. Look at that. Look at you. Krypton and Cybertron seem to be in a similar orbit with themselves right now. That's pretty cool. Nice. Cybertron. I So I'm going to go on a limb and say we're not going to find Cybermen in this pack. Like, I don't think that that's a thing that exists. So I wouldn't go, you know, assuming that we're going to find interesting stuff on these planets. But let's just check them out and see what the uh, mod author or the mod pack author did, right? So let's check out Cybertron. Uh, so I'm going to select you. It's a cost of 500 fuel. Um, which I forget what the math was, but I'm sure we have enough because I added dilithium. So let's warp over to there. Ooh. Warping is so cool. That is so neat. Hey, look, we're here. Nice. All right, cool. So we're, we're orbiting Cybertron. I'm going to assume that these are just going to be like planets that just have funny names. I don't think there's anything really cool on them. Um, but let's check out a couple and just see what it looks like. So... Um, really the only way to get down to the planet, um, will be, uh, courtesy of my rocket, right? Uh, so let's do this. And I have to take on and off my angel ring to actually get flight capabilities back. Um, how are we for fuel? We probably don't have a lot of fuel, but I know a guy who can give me unlimited fuel and that would be cool. So tank of rocket fuel, we're gonna pop down into our creative world of goodies. Uh, and you can go right there. Boom, now we have unlimited rocket fuel. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love I love how OP that is. It is hilarious. It is kinda, I mean, I would never wanna like play at the beginning of a pack with that much, you know, overpoweredness. Um, but, uh, it is kind of fun when you get to the end of the pack to be able to just say like, oh, I need something. I'm just going to make it infinite. All right. So we will be back in a minute. Let's check out uh, Cybertron. All right. Any Cybermen on this planet? Uh, so there's definitely no vacuum, right? No, it's a, it's a vacuum, no atmosphere pressure. pressure. Uh, definitely not breathable. Uh, looks like kind of a, a mess of a planet. Interesting. Well, let's do this. Let's add a destination. Because the one I really want to go visit is Gallifrey, if I'm being honest. So let's go back up to our space station. Cybertron looks kind of boring. I'm not going to lie. But Gallifrey... I kind of want to check that one out. 
All right, landing back on the space station. Let's do the Gallifrey thing. Does that sound like a fun place to go? Um, so we're gonna want to warp to Gallifrey, wherever that is. Caprica. Gallifrey was definitely an Earth-looking planet. So I'm assuming that like planets that are red, um, and planets that are grayish-looking, and planets that are you know Earthish looking. So that's Krypton, actually, not Gallifrey. That was there. So where is Gallifrey? Gallifrey's a reddish one. Let's do Krypton then. What's this? Relative distance, Earth's mass, Earth's atmospheric pressure. So I guess that means you don't have much atmospheric. Like what was Cybertron? Zero to 0 0.3 of Earth's atmospheric pressure. So Gallifrey actually has atmospheric pressure. Um, so that's interesting. Krypton has pressure as well. Let's do Krypton first, and then we'll do Gallifrey. So that should be a, a quick warp, because they're like right next to each other, it looks like. I do really like the warp effects. <clears throat> that's one of the interesting... Ooh, that's, that's nifty. That's new. Yeah, let's, uh, let's check that out. That's one of the things about um, the Advanced Rocketry mod. Um, it's cool, but I... I actually don't know for 100% sure, but I think it's more like a mod that's like you build your own environment, right? Like you don't, I don't think it comes with like a bunch of stuff to explore. I might be wrong about that. Um, like whoever makes a mod pack can, can program in what they want the planets to be like and what all exists. But I think if you just like drop it in a pack, there's not a whole lot of stuff out of the box. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's how the rocketry mod works. So there is air on this planet, atmosphere air, at 1.8 ATMs, breathable, yes. So in theory, I can remove my spacesuit, which is exciting. Um, neat. And we can uh, refuel our rocket a little bit here. Cool. So we're applying some thrust to slow down. Wow, look at this planet. This is actually kind of neat. I'm a little excited now. I thought there would be, like, you know, just generic... Environments. I didn't think there'd be actually that much cool stuff to check out, if I'm being totally honest. Um, hey, I landed on a tree. But this is cool. Like, check out this big red planet. One of these dome things. There's actually stuff to explore here. All right, nice. Uh, what biome is this even? Uh, Stormland? I'm unfamiliar with that biome. But like the red planet and everything, like that is cool. Uh, so let's, let's, let's do this. Um, I'm going to add... So this was Krypton, right? Add new Krypton commit lock. Cool. Um, so I can advance dislocate my way around here. Nifty. What is this big dome thing? This is made out of geode blocks from advanced rocketry. Well, that's a thing. Wow. A jackhammer? What's a jackhammer? Oh, hello. My goodness. So geode and then stone underneath. Yeah, so this is actually a pretty interesting planet. So the first planet we checked out, Cybertron, I was just like, Meh. maybe these are just all like funny names and that's it. But this one actually has stuff on it. Uh, so in here, this is interesting. This geode is cool. It's basically a giant cavern full of ores. Nice. Not, not, not that I need it, obviously, at this stage of the game, but it's still pretty neat. Um, nifty. Ores and bad guys, of course. Whoa. It is very red out here <laughs> on, on Krypton. It is a very red planet. I guess, you know, red son of Krypton and all that stuff, right? Oh, wow. And this, this dimension is dark. Uh, this is a Stormland dimension. And what is up with this tree? Hello, tree. Deep swamp, huh? I have no idea what kind of mod is adding this giant tree. No idea. I mean, I guess it's... I, I don't know if these are like randomly generated features or... Oh, cool, look. A mushroom. Uh, yeah, mushroom island biome. Nice, mushroom biome. Awesome. Not sure if randomly generated or part of advanced rocketry or mod pack author created these cool things i mean there's multiple trees here right i'm gonna have to assume that they're randomly generated i have no idea by who or how
but that is cool. All right, so let me guess. Yep, chunk borders. So this is definitely generated terrain. Uh, Cause see how like there's this chunk it didn't generate the tree in. This is a common thing in, in, in generation of large structures is chunk boundary issues. So this is definitely a generated structure. It wasn't hand placed. So that's interesting. Neat. I'm gonna fly around a little bit more on Krypton and see what we can find. Now I'm a little bit excited to explore the other planets because I'm like, ooh, there's stuff here. What kind of, what, what? so these are added by advanced rocketry, electric mushrooms. All right, so maybe this biome is an advanced rocketry biome. Nifty. Hey, they're sparking. That's cool. Electric mushroom. Can I use them for anything? Nope. They don't have a crafting recipe. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Interestinger and interestingly-er. Here's another geode, it looks like. Just kind of curious what's inside there. I'm guessing it's just geodes are all the same, but I might be wrong. Yeah, looks very similar. Neat. Very red on Krypton. Well, I didn't mean to go back to the space station. Let's go back to Krypton. I wanted to go back to where my rocket was. So let's 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 look at the journey map real quick. So I went kind of in that direction. Let's, let's check out west a little bit. Does that sound cool? Just to kind of see what's around here. Maybe Krypton has a lot of mushroom biomes. See what he should have said. I don't know if this is just pure luck that we got a couple mushroom biomes going on here. But what he should have said is instead of like making a crafting recipe for the mushroom soul thing, just be like, hey, there's a Krypton. There's lots of mushrooms there. Like that would have been neat. Yeah, see, these trees are definitely world jetting. Very cool. I like it. Neat little red sands desert thing going on. I think I'm going to fly around for a few minutes, see if I come up with anything cool, and then maybe we'll head back to the rocket ship and check out another planet. Yeah, mushroom biomes are plenty on this planet. Um, this planet definitely has a lot of mushroom biomes. All right, back to the space station, because I would like to uh, check out another planet. So where to next? I kind of want to visit Gallifrey. Personal, personal favorite right there. Let's warp on over. How's my uh, dilithium crystals holding up? Not bad. I think I should have another stack in there at least. Refuel that bad boy. Oh, Gallifrey. Let's do it. So definitely a breathable atmosphere on Gallifrey, which is, you know, unsurprising. It's nighttime, uh, which is cool. Oh boy, there's lots of monsters on Gallifrey, apparently, at night. Oh, they run really fast. I don't know if that's my imagination. Let's make sure that we uh, find this. Add new Gallifrey. Bit them lock. I'm gonna see if it becomes daytime soon. Be right back when hopefully it does. All right, yeah. Now we're seeing some sunrise stuff going on. Cool. So mobs are doing their mobbly things. So this planet, less interesting than the last one, if I'm being fair. Uh, but we've got the ability to teleport back to our rocket, which is, you know, huge. So Gallifrey, huh? You guys have let this planet go. Not a lot going on here on Gallifrey, if I'm being honest. Maybe I just landed on a bad part of the planet. Uh, so Gallifrey might be a boss. There are geodes, so that's neat. Definitely liked Krypton a little bit better. Gallifrey seems to be a little dead. All right, Gallifrey was a bust. Bummer. We'll be back. I want to check out the other Earth-like looking planet in the system. Uh, I forget what it was. Caprica or something like that? All right, let's see what Caprica looks like. Warping on over. 
may look a lot like Krypton. May not. I'm not entirely sure. But we'll find out. Uh, so you can go away. You, 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 you. That should be cool. And I will catch you guys. Ooh, it's a very bluish looking planet from orbit, so that's a good sign. Uh, I will see you guys planet side. That's kind of cool looking. I want, I want, I want more of this mod. Coming in for a landing, uh, check my atmospheric type. It is definitely breathable, so that's a good sign. Uh, it looks probably like it's dark out on this planet at the moment. Ooh, a snowish biome? Or is that just JEI being wrong? It might be JEI being wrong. Uh, but that's interesting. Very dark at the moment. Very dark at the moment. Uh, cool. Make sure we're ready to, uh... Ooh, what is this? What are these things going on here? This is, this is, this is a thing that's happening right now. So, Caprica, this planet was called? Not sure, like, what this is from. Um, I'm assuming it's some kind of, you know, TV show reference or something. These are sapphire blocks from Advanced Rocketry. So, uh, oh, hello. Neat. Can that be used for anything? Nope. Just cool looking spires. Cool. Citrine. Look at this. This is pretty neat. Ruby, amethyst, wolfentite, emerald. Very cool. So definitely a snowy type planet full of ice and packed ice and these nifty advanced rocketry crystals and whatnot. I'll be honest, I totally wasn't expecting stuff like this. This is pretty cool. I wonder if there's like, we dig underneath these things. Nope, just standard uh, terrain gen underground here. Remember kids, don't dig straight down. Minecraft rule number one, the dire always breaks. Neat. I like it. Cool. Oh man, look at this. There's two of them that intersect. That's neat. Definitely an interesting planet. So just flying around this nifty planet a little bit. Looking to see if there's like any other biomes or anything else. It doesn't look like it. So maybe back to the space station we go. Back to the space station we go when I figure out where my rocket is. Ah, there it is. Also, neat sky on this planet, gotta say. Um, so apparently I was a little bit of a derp with my Caprica. So let's remove you and then we're gonna add new Caprica commit lock. Cool. All right, so now, cool. All right, so uh, I literally had to like look at the recording that I did a minute ago to find the XYZ coordinates that I came in on and then flew to them and found my rocket. That's how that worked out. Really like the sky on this planet. Like really like that, like deep blue color of the sky. That is, that is cool. I'm, I'm enjoying exploring these planets. It's pretty nifty, if I do say so myself. I think it's fun. Uh, all right, cool. So we've got a couple nifty sapphires. Let's go ahead and head back to the space station. Boom. And we'll be back in a minute. All right, time for another little planet adventure. Ah, uh, where to next? Tatooine? Bog Sphere. So this one looks different than any other planet. Like, these... So Gallifrey was kind of a bust, right? Tatooine, I'm worried, might be just like Gallifrey. Rigel looks pretty small and uninteresting. Um, but Vogsphere, let's give that a try, shall we? Dilithium's good? Yeah, plenty. Nice. All right, so Vogsphere it is uh, for the next planet of exploration. Looks a little moonish, uh, and it very well could be. But we'll find out uh, in a minute. 
All right, so this environment has breathable air. Nice. All right, that's cool. Uh, so then let's do this thing. I've just been refueling the rocket as needed. Coming in for a landing. It's nighttime again. You know, not that big a deal. Hopefully we'll get to see what it looks like in daytime as well. Applying a little thrust to slow down. Aha! I recognize these things. Which planet was this again? It wasn't Tatooine. Bog Sphere. Out of Ender Pearls? I don't think I'm out of Ender Pearls. Uh, probably don't need my jungle biome anymore, right? Let's delete you. Uh, we're gonna call this uh, Vog Sphere and mock it. Cool. Uh, that's all good. Neat. All right, so rocket ship landed and a puff of smoke. Vog Sphere? I could see this being Vog Sphere. I would absolutely could. Because um, that's pretty much uh, what Vog Sphere, I would imagine. A snowy, cold, dark, nasty planet. Interesting. Uh, let's wait for daytime and see what it looks like. Am I out of my mind, or did you just teleport me somewhere that's not near my rocket ship? Correction, this is where my rocket was, but it's invisible. Oh, there it is. What's up with that? Did you see that? That thing literally just appeared out of nowhere. That's weird. Oh, look at this cool sky. A, uh, like, black, really small sun. I guess this is pretty far away from the, from the star in the system, so... The sun's really small, the sky is really black. I could see the advanced rocketry mod being see look, it disappeared again. Where'd you go? I'm I'm literally standing on it. Look, I can't even walk into the space. You did the thing. Come on. Uninvisibilize yourself. I could see doing a lot of cool stuff. I know it's right here. weird all right back in a minute when in doubt relog uh so long story short i would say that you could really create some interesting mods and mod packs using the advanced rocketry mod with like lots of exploration potential right because there's a lot of variables around what a planet can be like uh and i think that's really cool I, I'd like to see more mod packs like heavily use advanced rocketry. Like Age of Engineering is the first pack that I've played that used it a lot, um, but I want more. <laughs> um, it's a lot of effort on the part of the mod pack maker probably to make you know varying planets with varying you know interesting attributes, right? But uh, it's cool. It definitely has uh, the the potential for some really neat gameplay mechanics. So maybe check out one or two more planets. And then we'll probably wrap up here. All right, one more that I can't resist checking out. I'm a little worried I might be disappointed, but we'll see what happens. Um, let's see what's up. All right, well, from orbit, this place looks kind of cool. So let's hit up Tatooine, huh? Nice. All right, this is a, this is a thing. My goodness. <laughs> it's a very blue planet, uh, which is cool. Uh, I don't... Mm, uh, uh, Gallifrey was a bust, right? Uh, we'll put down... I want to be able to at least teleport back to my spaceship, right? Uh, Tatooine... Interesting. So this is kind of like a hot dry rock biome. So 
like kind of desertish. Definitely not what Tatooine makes me think of. But they do have these cool geodes, which is neat. <clears throat> I wonder if there's mobs in them. I'm guessing you are the center geode. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. It's like a bluish cracking texture. I don't think that's what it looked like on the other planet, is it? Oh yeah, there's mobs in there. I think that's just because of the fog. It's like a very dense blue fog. Interesting planet. Yeah, I can imagine some really cool mod packs using the Advanced Rocketry mod. I'm going to assume that there's not much more on Tatooine. Spaceship, please. Back to the spaceship. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap up the episode of planetary exploration here. I think we've visited most of the nifty looking planets uh, in, in this environment. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume there won't be too much else uh, that's that's cool to see. Um, so with that said, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next episode and probably do a final wrap up. Um, there may be explosions involved. No promises. I mean, probably, right? Um, real quick, how'd you guys make out? Wow, thirty. Uh, yeah, we've got we've got almost four trillion RF, and it's not even one percent full. So that thing we're not gonna fill up. But for now, double twenty sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.